ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back to Bobby's Diary. Let's talk about company handbook. You might want to ask for company handbook. And when I was writing this, I I I thought of a lot of scenarios where if somebody has asked me for company handbook before the person comes into the company, I possibly wouldn't have given the person that, right? And I'm not sure I've had anybody ask me that question. And I'll tell you why I said so because a company handbook is an internal document for staff. What I would advise is you ask for and you're not giving that company document. Fair enough. Please understand why. But then you can ask for specific things that the HR can provide for you from that document. So like all of this net pay, all of this benefit structure, all of this will be contained in that document. So it means you're asking for stuff from that document, but I can't hand you the document before you become an employee. Do your own body, which we will later discuss, you know, I can give you all the policy documents that will be necessary that will be that would help you settle into the company so it might be the communication handbook it might be the company handbook it might be the company ethics book it might be you know the the dress code policy it might be a lot of policies that would help you to settle in and to understand the culture of the environment easily so i can give that to you when you become a part of us but if you're still outside if you have not if you have not accepted the offer i might not give you that document however i would encourage you that oh please read through your offer if there's any specific question you need to ask concerning the company handbook i would provide those answers to you and give to you but i cannot give you that document i remember one time i was not looking for a job like i i, I think i mentioned in the last video you you might not be looking for a job but it's important that you throw out your cvs you attend interviews you want to know to get better at it because you only get better at it when you keep doing it okay to get more comfortable at it secondly is also to know your ratings in the market i got for an interview past the stage i was giving the offer letter i read through the offer letter they were making reference to a particular handbook they didn't call it handbook they just had a special name they were calling the document and they kept making that reference to oh on this issue you would have to consult with this document to find out more on this issue and at the time i was pregnant with one of my kids i'm not going to mention who i was pregnant with one of my kids and when that stuff came in i kept i read through it and i was like what document is this in this whole offer so I called the recruiter up and I said, please, uh, the offer kept mentioning this particular document. Can I, can you, would you be kind enough to send me that document? And they sent it to me. I'm sure if I go through my mails today, I would, I would see that document. And they sent that document to me. And I read, like I mentioned, I was pregnant at the time. So I was particular about what their maternity plan was. I consulted that book. I read through it and... I was thank God that I did not take that offer. Two thousand years later. We're not talking about policies today, but I just thought that it's, a, it's important I mention to you that please read company, ask them if you if you are, if you are, if you have peculiar uh, conditions. Maybe if you are if you have it if you have a disability that they are aware of, ask them what is their policy around around you know your peculiar situation so that you are well aware if that is something you want to do immediately i just knew that i could not even though the pay was was juicy it was convincing the pay was good at the time i just knew that you know i cannot sacrifice a lot for for this for this kind of slavery so immediately i i told the employer that i would not be my apologies but i would not be taking the offer he he, he, he the truth is they went back they thought it was a case of the figure so they even went back and they reworked the figure and they came back the first figure was final they went back they reworked the figure and they came back but i was not i was not deterred i just told myself no i'm not going to do this but if you still go back and you're not convinced call again and please i would like to still ask further questions like i said there's no rush please 
do not spend you know do not exhaust the timeline so if they said get back to us in seven days please ensure you get back to them in seven days in six days actually but you might not be the only person they are recruiting at that point so there are a lot of things the person is dealing with the person wants to be sure that okay this timeline i've given you is enough for you to do what you have to do and it's enough for me to also do what i have to do so don't try and encroach into my own time and put me under pressure let's assume that you have gone through this stuff and you're not satisfied perhaps it doesn't match in in terms of pay it doesn't match what you were expecting or in terms of benefits it also doesn't match what you were expecting it's important that you call or you send a mail to negotiate a, a range do not be rigid ensure that you are also still flexible i like those things you've said again oh you said you were going to do this you're going to do that and now that the pay is coming it doesn't match up all of the things you are bringing on the table so it would be nice for them to review the offer upwards most times there's always that initial offer do not just box yourself in one corner and say doing this i'm not taking you know be flexible enough towards the end of this conversation we'll discuss the don'ts of interview the, the don'ts of negotiation so the things you should not do during your negotiation and don't be rude don't burn bridges so even if you're not going to take the offer don't say oh get out i didn't know yeah of course we we'll work for this stupid company before and then you go no don't even if you are not going to work together shake hands and then go your separate ways ensure that you help them understand what you deserve so you're not just saying uh, I want this, I want this, I want this. Help them to understand what you deserve. So, mm, when you're saying, I think they're offering you 14 and you want a 16. So, you're saying, I deserve a 16 because of this, 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 because of this, this, this. Please do not say because you have five children or because you are living in a Kurundu. Those are not the uh, value you should be highlighting. Your academic value, your experience, your this, your those hefty things I, I highlight them that that's the reason why you are asking for them to review the pay they have offered you it's important that you read the room understand your environment understand the body language understand what they are saying and what they are not saying now because hr professionals or the recruiters they've been trained in such a way that they have so much they want to tell you perhaps they even want to tell you that ah Okay, don't accept that offer. You can negotiate it higher. But they cannot just say the way I've just said it. So read the room. Understand in when those that they are just, you know, chipping in here and there. Use it to form an opinion. Some of these people would not tell you play black that this is what it is. If you understand temperament, if you understand body language, if you understand what, what they are not saying, you would know the right decisions to make. Don't um don't negotiate in piecemeal. Ensure that you've read through your document and that you are comfortable with what is in it. You have you've written down your questions and then you ask your questions. Don't ask about salary today, tomorrow. Ask about statutory deductions, then tomorrow. Ask about pension. Revert ASAP. Not the date that have been given for, for you to revert and ensure that you revert on that day or earlier than that day. But another thing I would like to talk, touch on really quickly is the don'ts of offer and negotiation. So what are your don'ts? The don'ts of what you should not do during offer and negotiation. I think I have mentioned some earlier. I will just highlight them yet again and then mention some other ones which I have noted down. Like I said, don't the first one I would say is don't revert after the timeline revert during the timeline another important thing is don't negotiate just because it's not a dating scene where you say ah, let the person not think i'm cheap if the, if the money is fine by you accept uh, and you've looked through the benefit structure it looks like what you can do accept and move on don't waste anybody's time okay so that's something people should not don't just negotiate because you feel like negotiating you feel like uh, flexing your muscle please negotiate because there is something to negotiate and it's not always the case that you should negotiate salary don't only that's another point so the only thing that you should negotiate should not be salary salary is just one factor i've mentioned a lot of things that you can negotiate so salary is just one of so many things you can negotiate 
if the salary doesn't add up to what you want something else might add up the the bonuses might be something you should negotiate paid time off work might be something to negotiate other kind of reward reward packages might be something to negotiate so if if the if the salary doesn't uh doesn't bulge so if they say ah it's eight million i'm giving you eight million i'm giving you and you're okay with eight million you can negotiate other things you can negotiate your bonuses your benefits maybe your maintenance allowance your car maintenance you can negotiate your uh what's it called your call card allowance your dress any allowance or trainings or all of those you can negotiate those kind of things you can negotiate a work from home say okay if you if you say i wanted the 10 million you offer me an 8 million i can uh i can consider that perhaps if you let me work two days from home it's, it's not every time you negotiate salary sometimes negotiate other packages that would also translate to money i said don't negotiate in piecemeal that is important so don't don't rush your negotiation process but be time conscious you, sometimes when you are you are anxious you might read the wrong thing you might not even read the correct thing or you might not see the things you should see so after you have been after you're out of that bubble of oh they go back to me thank you jesus and you're all happy and let your head be calm and then after a few days you read it give to someone else to read and be sure that everything is in sync ask your questions all within this time before you accept the offer don't give an ultimatum don't say is it that this or nothing whilst you're saying Oh, can you be kind enough to give me this? Tell them why they should give, let them see reasons why. Perhaps they have forgotten. Perhaps they did not put that into consideration before. So you are reminding them that I am worth this and this and this. So please, it would be nice if you consider all of these things whilst reverting with an increased offer. And something else that is important is don't blackmail. You didn't see that coming, right? yes don't don't blackmail your employer so a lot of people will get an offer here get an offer here get a, and then you come and say i have an offer from mr lakbacha so if you don't give me i will go there you come in and say that's fine go there so don't blackmail anybody to say oh a eh, so so person is offering me this you are offering me this this person is higher so if you don't give me i will go there i see you didn't have to tell me that for you to go there whatever rocks your boat just do it don't come and be threatening employers with if you don't give me i will go elsewhere so please don't be a blackmailer uh it, it, i'm not saying you shouldn't have multiple offers that that shows you are you are the hottest cake in the career market and which is good for you for you it, it gives you better better chances and it helps you negotiate properly but please don't use that to blackmail your potential employers just ensure that it is for your information and then it helps you to make the right choices out of the many choices that you have at the time with all that i have mentioned now you would understand that offer and negotiation is a different ball game and like i said the best time to 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 be in the best position to negotiate an offer is when you are not actively looking for a job because if you are out of jobs if you are hungry you might not negotiate properly and then you enter the company and you feel disgruntled you feel like you've been cheated and that would also impact your work or your delivery and even even be a, a be a stressor for you so you do not want any of that in your life it's important that you know you are relaxed when you are looking for a job so even when you are anxious to get a job please be relaxed to make a good uh, a good choice and if for any reason you feel you feel you at any point in time when an offer come you feel in doubt refer to this video it's always going to be on youtube refer to this video come back watch 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 you can even ask me questions in the comment section call my phone if you have access to me send me an email i'm sure you have access to that and then just try and reach out a lot of people have reached out to me based on this series to ask questions on career oh my gosh this is happening to me in my career now what should i do barbara what's your advice on this what and i am always happy to give out those things for free please watch this video refer it to your colleagues friends family member i thank you so much for watching it 
I really hope that you did enjoy this particular series. After this, we'll be discussing onboarding. Yes, we'll be discussing onboarding, everything as regards coming into the opposition, all you need to get sorted out, all you need to do, what you need to do in your first week in of employment. We'll be discussing onboarding next. So please stay tuned, ensure that you refer this video to your family. I'm sorry, it looks like I'm talking from my toes. I told you I'm battling a cold. So ensure you refer this video to your family and friends. Ensure you watch and rewatch. Even I that made the video, I would watch and rewatch this video. The video on CV and the other one on interview, I have watched and rewatched it because aside from loving to hear myself speak, I also learn a ton of two every time. I watch it okay and no knowledge is lost so keep watching keep watching other videos I have so many interesting content on this channel based on my lifestyle or my family and just random chit chats I have with different people I'm sure by now you must have watched the chit chat I had with my mom I'm sure you loved it so if you want me to have a sit down with any other person on the channel please let me know I'll be sure to schedule one with that person you know this time from now and i really hope that you advance with your career yeah i really hope that you advance this is my wish that in no distant time from now i meet a lot number of you and you're like well done i saw what you did with that video and it helped me to make the right choice concerning my career it is important to me that everybody moves to that next level that they hope for and i hope that i help you to take the next bold step so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for the time it's a long one it's been a really interesting one i hope you learned a two a teen or two if you did please let me know in the comment section what you learned from this video and if there's any other topic you would love for me to touch on please also let me know in the comment section and i'll be sure to do justice to it thank you so much for watching love you guys have a nice day from barbie to you it is Bye.